Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Supreme Jerk difficulty. It is time for episode 26 and we only have two deaths uh, so far. It's getting better and better. I think for by now I've generally understood the concept of the game. And the builds are somewhat playing out well. Um, so... What I haven't understood yet are the toasters, but I think that'll need to wait until after the blind playthrough. We're going to go in and we do have quite a few gas mines here, as well as a gas hopper. I'm wondering... Take out this mine. And this mine, that'll be good. Leaves us with only one. Okay. Just hunkering down a little bit. Taking out all of uh, those nasty, nasty traps to begin with. And I think we can just start in getting, getting that thing down. Uh, easiest way to solve that without uh, using ammunition is by making that robot our friend. Could have done that without Ramos shooting, but okay. More traps detected. And even more traps detected over here. Hmm, good. We got a lot of uh, experience on Ramos just for disabling all of those traps. I think what we're going to do is we're going to open this door and then it's going to be quite a Hail Mary uh, fight that's breaking out. All right, let's go. Ramos moves over here. Quan, do we have any robots? Yes, we do, right over there. <laughs> and assholes is for the food. And yet another great song. Lucia moves up. Wait, wait, wait. We could stun two of them, right? Sure. Hmm. 
That's worth it. Just crowd controlling. Onto the arms and crippled them. Wonderful. Good job, Lucia. Very nice turn. Could have um, injected herself for more AP. Quan charges into half cover. Takes this guy down, we're good. Very nice hit, good job. Just didn't want to hit the provost. Hawkbite charges in. Oh yeah, one hit and two to follow. Good. Storm in. And wait, wait, wait. We got the storm up perk. All right, that's good. Murphy. Disintegrates this guy. Fantastic. Good. We're taking over that robot. Not that we haven't taken a single point of damage in this particular combat. Very nice. Hit and double hit. Fantastic. Ramos. Does a little bit of spray and pray. Nothing wrong with that. Can't reach them. Nah, that would hit the provost. Don't want that. It's a bit of a problem. When all of these guys are completely clustered up.
Good hit. Fantastic. Good, we're preparing over here. I think we're just going to prepare. Soon our robot <coughs> might no longer be on our side. The saw pub, that is. They blocked all of the entrances. How kind. All right, Hogbite takes care of this robot. Central corners the guy, hits him. Fantastic. Ironclad Kurid, who are you? We are the Desert Rangers. Never heard of you. What's this about? Um, tell us about your dealings with the Patriarch. My dealings with him? <laughs> you mean my shame? I was, I am, warlord of the Scar Collectors. Greatest slavers of the Colorado Plains. When the Patriarch came east to put us down, we gave him more than he bargained for. Stopped him cold. I know he tells his people he secured his borders by beating us. Makes himself out a real hero. Bullshit. He made a deal. Gave the Scar Collectors, Piasos, and Godfishes money and supplies to hunt east and keep the smaller gangs out. Mm hmm. I don't believe you. The Patriarch would never do such a thing. You wouldn't believe what your Patriarch would do. So you want vengeance on him? And his daughter. He stole my honor. She stole my army. Happened right after she failed to take her daddy's throne. Ran our way. And pretty soon realized she could turn our gangs against us. By telling them about the deal we made with Buchanan, which we kept secret. One second. All right. After this little baby Easter egg, let's continue with Ironclad Coride. Told them we'd settle for table scraps when we could have had the whole of Colorado. That we'd become guard dogs when we could have been kings, which was the truth. So the gang grows up. Star the dreams over through clouds drifting west to lead the Godfishers. Let Chirito kill Slapstick to take the Payasos. And that rat steel trap jumped me and sold me to a bauxite mine. Now he's running the Mascar Collectors. Mm -hmm. Not for long. How did you get from uh, bauxite mine to here? Another stupid mistake. Wasn't hard escaping the mine, but then I ran to Buchanan. 
Asked him for help taking back the Scar Collectors. Promised him I'd capture his daughter for him. Brain in the gangs. He told me I was weak and useless. Threw me in here. Well, I was weak. I let him distract me from my destiny with easy living. Now I'm back on track. And he will die for seducing me. If we let you go, what are your plans? Once I take back the gangs from Liberty, I'll lead them east, away from your pretty little city, and use them to once again become ruler of the Wakarusa Redlegs, and then all of Kansas, as was ordained. But there's one thing I gotta do before I leave Colorado. If you want that too, maybe we can walk the same path for a time. What do you say? Could you use another gun? Uh, let's just go our separate ways. Right. I'll be heading east. Adios. Cool guy. But a little bit too intense for my liking. Level 10 sniper rifle. A couple of medical darts. Couple of medical darts, and we got another secret door here. Shit. Oh, nice brawling weapon. Good chest armor. The whole slaver set, apparently. And some more drugs. I like that. I like ammunition. I like it all. If it is sellable, it is good. Okay, so much for he's not keeping prisoners down here, eh? Just double checking. Uh, we got a level up with Central. Who still doesn't have <clears throat> enough um, enough strength, but I will say awareness is important as well, and so is coordination. Got to pick our poison here. I think uh, we're going for four awareness, finish coordination, and then we're going to see how how many more uh, skill points we're going uh, attribute points we're going to get. Upgrade Hardes. And uh, the rest is fine. No further level ups. Good. What the hell was all that gunfire? Nobody should have gotten here. Okay, well, Murphy, we crouch over here. Do they have robots? No. Beds, a couple of other stuff, but no robots. We can move all the way to here. Lock picking in order to get in there, but that'll happen soon. Not yet. That should be a kill. How did... We, oh, we missed! Okay, that was a 95% shot and we just solidly blew it. 
Interesting. Spotted. You know, let's start by softening this guy up, okay? So that Murphy can indeed completely kill him. And prepare for next round. Lucia jumps in, hits this guy's arms, cripples him with it. I like it. Uh, then gives herself a little stim. Then hits him in the hat, and the crippling sort of doesn't matter anymore. Hawkbite goes for the marksman, directly into the enemy's backline. Love it. Love to see it. He's defending himself there. Quan takes the center. Takes this guy out. Oh yeah, Quan is a killer machine. Ramos. Goes here, steady shot, ambush. Central. Has the Stormer perk. Blinds this uh, gal and. Then waits. I think we've uh, messed them up quite heavily. They are crippled, blinded, can't really do much. Oh, they crippled us as well. But with the help of Party Pal, we're hopefully getting uh, Quan healed up. Good. This Gunslinger here is taught a valuable lesson. Uh, maybe not the complete lesson, but most of it. There we go. That was one kill. And almost the second one. Murphy is an absolute beast. Lucia, nearly done. And... Well, that's it. Cool. So, Quan um, is eating in order to refill himself. I think and someone got a level up. Yep. Right here. Good. Continuing with awareness. I like that. Good choice. Big guns. Level 9, even better choice. Do we have big guns level 10, the book already? Um, negotiate, that's kisses, hardest. We got big guns. Alright, fantastic. Read that book, and that means big guns finally are level 10, which also means widespread pain is available. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Very good. Ramos. You love to see it.
We could uh, use a little bit better heavy machine gun, but for now, I think we're doing very well. He still is dealing an absolute ludicrous amount of damage. Healing, 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 bit of ammunition and that's it. Cloud drifting west. In the bed lies a broken old man dying from multiple terrible injuries and breathing only because of the machine his eyes roll uh, towards as you, you approach. Moved. My captors. Good. Now, take me out of here. I must die under the sky. Who are you? It is not mercy. Drifting west, leader and prophet of the god fishers, slayer of unbelievers, launcher oh. of a thousand kites. That guy. Yeah, we fucked up your gang, man. Holy. I've heard of this guy. Everybody who fought in the Plains Wars knows what he did. He's killed more people than hunger. Take you out of bed, you'll die before we leave the room. End my life. Here. Better than Oh, have waiting. no worries. If you are one of those cloud freaks, we are going to end your life. We cleared your followers and uh, their kites out of Denver. Why are you here? Good, same deal. Lightning. Strike him. All right, we'll end your Shut suffering. God's home. He deserved it. Level 15 tank armor. I like that. Get some new armor. Not bad at all. Well, that was an anti-climax. Some more healing. And listen, in terms of um, in terms of armor, this stuff here requires six strings, right? So that's a good breaking point, it seems, for for many that uh, deal with strength. Uh, she already has fantastic armor. He does have good armor, though we've never used his electro helmet so far. Um, We do have plenty of strengths here. What's his armor looking like? Well, he needs four strengths. He has modded armor. I think we could deal with that. Uh, give him a bit more armor. That's a tank helmet. I'm not sure. I like the hit chance more than just armor. And he already has savage legs, so that's good.
Okay, not that uh, armor will make a <coughs> huge difference on good old Murphy because he's just going down like a wet, uh, like a sack of potatoes if he's ever being hit. But you know, uh, every little bit uh, helps or counts. So 22 sort of around 20 for most of them i think the one that is most vulnerable is central and one way of dealing with it is better chest armor he's not beating the strength requirements though although i will say this here will help you and now he's at 22 armor i like that i like that a lot Good, 22 armor, 20 armor, by far the most armor is with Lucia, and Hawkbite also does have uh, some good armor and a little bit more hit points, so I think we're fine. Armor does, uh, on Supreme Jerk difficulty, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, for starters, there are different ways of bypassing armor, right? Because uh, all of the energy weapons do give a wet fart about what you're doing uh, with your armor. took out the other ship, I'd still be around. Oh shit! It's the Desert Rangers! Pull back! Do not engage! The Patriarch can keep this money! Yeah, you can give a wet fart about, uh, about ar armor when uh, you do have energy weapons, and then even the ones that are not using energy weapons... <sighs> you know, I mean... They are hitting hard, so not a hundred percent sure about that whole armor thing. So wait, Lucia has how much animal whisper exactly uh, enough to do that? Uh, she currently has a rabbit because the dog died. You stay here. And we're instead taking you, Cyborg's chicken. Okay, can't rehire the rabbit, which is not a big loss. I think we're just going to get another animal. But yeah, that's the end of uh, that side quest. I think we can... Lords of War. We need to find Ironclad and learn the truth about what's going on in Colorado Springs. Ancient uh, survivalist bunker. Hmm, well, uh, free ironclad uh, Koride. I think we already did that. So the next one is... Um, or the next thing is Call to Action, uh, which uh, will require us to go to the entrance of the Union Station. Uh, I will need to figure out where exactly that is, potentially somewhere in the world received uh, a help call from someone calling themselves Morningstar. Level 12 quest should be right up our alleyway. For now, when we're done with that quest, I'll uh, just uh, go to the Ranger HQ, do a bit of uh, homework and chores, and we are going to see each other in the next episode. In the meantime, uh, think about uh, not being a kept in an underground bunker. Let's listen to Angela Death. How did you hear that? Oh, well, I've got friends all over, and they've all got good eyes. You tricked us into killing people who work for the park track and put us in a bad spot. Just don't tell him and you'll be fine. Nobody knows you did it, and Buchanan can't admit those men were his. He can't even admit that they exist. 
uh, existed. And, well, I apologize about that. I didn't know any other way of getting you up to speed. But now that you've talked to Cordite, you understand who the Patriarch is, right? You talk to a criminal with a grudge. How are we supposed to trust his opinion on anything more than we can yours? Well, I guess you gotta make up your own mind. I just wanted you to know that the way the Patriarch tells the story ain't the only way there is to tell. Is he with you now? We let him go. After I told you to keep him close, you're gonna need him when it's time to go after Liberty. Well, he'll probably head her way too. Maybe you'll run into him again. And if you do, hang on to him. For now, just keep helping the Patriarch collar his kids. We're with him on that. Although, I guess he wants you to bring him back alive. We, uh... We don't care so much about their condition. Fact is, Colorado will be a whole lot safer without them. The Patriarch's heirs will always have a claim on this land. And from what I hear, they're even worse than Buchanan himself. Anyhow, I'll be in touch. Dead red, over and out. Good. Got a nice little uh, XP grab there. I was about to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment and like down below and don't get captured in an underground bunker. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.